This is a, a new part. Part six, operational amplifier circuit. This part is uh, related to sensor electronics. Now with the sensor electronics, the most uh, circuits um, not really in the video voltage source, current source, resistor, capacitor, inductor, but based on operational amplifier circuits. This is why I include uh, this part for sensory electronics. So we start from um, amplifier. Amplifier is a device to enlarge signal from a small signal to a larger signal, say from a millivolt or even micron volt to a voltage level uh, so that we can use ADC to convert into digital form, for example. Most uh, engineers use uh, an amplifier as uh, a gray box. Here I say this is a gray box. It's not a clear box, it's not a black box. Uh, if I say this is a clear box, that means you understand everything inside of uh, amplifier. If I say a black box, you, you know nothing. This is just a device. So here I say this is a gray box. That means from an um, application point of view, you should have a sufficient knowledge how to choose amplifier, how to use amplifier, how to um, uh, use it for your purpose, right? And you may not know detailed circuit inside integrated circuit chips, but you know the general principle, you know how to use it. But we can de design operational amplifier circuits simply by considering their static and dynamic behavior. In terms of the relationship between output and the input, amplifier can be categorized to two groups. Group one is a linear amplifier, is commonly used. The group two is a non-linear amplifier, such as log amplifier. So in the past, non-linear amplifiers quite uh, common, but these days, non-linear amplifiers is very rare because people use, uh, uh, such as a microcontroller use a computer, use other means to implement non-linear function. So in the following, mostly we discuss uh, uh, linear amplifier, uh, only a small part, we, uh, we have to learn some nonlinear function. Typically, an operational amplifier has eight pins and powered by positive and negative power supply. Usually is by plus minus 12 or plus minus 15 volt. Some amplifiers even use a plus minus five some amplifiers even uh, just between five and zero, you know, single, ampli single uh, power supply, but more commonly is a plus minus 12 or plus minus 15. Here I show you um, a diagram. This is um, operational amplifier. This is a uni universal for all operational amplifiers. We can use uh, this uh, symbol. Here you have uh, two inputs. There's a negative input, positive input. By the way, almost all operational amplifiers, their definition in pin is the same. This is the pin two, pin three, pin seven for power supply, positive power supply. Pin four is for negative power supply. Uh, 
and pin six, <coughs> pin six is a uh, output. Almost all operational amplifiers adopts this uh, this uh, definition. Uh, here is a summary: pin two inverting input, pin three non-inverting input, pin six output, pin four negative power supply, pin five, pin seven positive power supply. Some operational amplifiers make use of uh, pins one and five for now purpose. That means um, you make use of pin one, pin five, you can adjust uh, zero. Uh, but these days, <laughs> it is not, um, <clears throat> not common to, uh, to have uh, those two pins. Right. The basic function of uh, operational amplifier, obviously, is to amplify uh, signal. Uh, for this, is to amplify the difference between three and two. Uh, this is a positive input, and that is a negative input. You have a two input. It's to uh, <clears throat> amplify the difference between the two inputs. If we use an equation, we can use a VO equals A times VP minus VN. So back to this uh, diagram, this is uh, A. The inside, you have uh, open loop again, is uh, A. We call it uh, open loop again. Also, internal circuit of um, OPAM is a very complicated and their detailed design can be quite different from each other. But we can use uh, three internal parameters to describe the behavior of uh, operational amplifier. I'll show you this uh, diagram first. This is a diagram. It's, uh, now it's bigger, it uh, includes a little bit more details uh, of inside uh, operational amplifier. Here you have uh, between uh, negative and positive uh, input, you have a certain impedance. Now this is called input impedance. Uh, usually this input impedance is a very high. In ideal case, this is uh, infinite. It's a very high. On this side, connect to your output pin, you have uh, this, this is called the output impedance of the amplifier. Uh, uh, already I mentioned there is an open loop gain that is uh, A here. Actually, this uh, gain is um, um, right, um, okay. This, this uh, gain um, is the purpose is to amplify, amplify a signal or the difference between VP and VN. I, I use uh, A times VP minus VN. That is uh, here. That is here. The input is there. Okay. The output of this uh, 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 this uh, device here. Actually, this is a voltage control, voltage uh, source. Uh, because your input is a voltage, voltage control, voltage as output is voltage. This is a voltage control voltage source. Okay, we're back to a previous page. There are three parameters. I have um, internal, uh, internal parameters. We have three. Open loop again, we use a small a to stand for. In ideal case, this is the infinite. It's a very, very large open loop again. The input impedance, we use a small ri to stand for. In ideal case, this is infinite. The output impedance r0, we use a r0, this is a small r0. In ideal case, this is a zero. So this is a feature of an ideal operational amplifier. Right, now we assume the open loop gain here is a, a is a very large approach to infinite. 
is not function of a frequency. That is ideal cons uh, assumption. But in actual case, this A is not exactly uh, infinite, a typical value. A typical value is 10 to six. That means uh, one million times, uh, one million again. Uh, you have a very small signal, you have a one million uh, amplify, and uh, you have a relatively uh, very large uh, signal output. And also this again, in actual case, is uh, related to frequency. Normally with the frequency increase, there's A will decrease. Uh, an operational amplifier can never work as a linear amplifier without negative feedback because the open loop gain is a very large. It's a, this open loop gain is a so large, if you have a very small difference, you will have a very large output. Uh, actually, uh, if you don't have any feedback, and uh, th this signal always saturate. Yeah, it's a user approach to positive power supply or negative power supply. With the negative feedback, an ideal operational amplifier circuit has two features. It's very important, very important, those two features. Uh, and so if you have a negative feedback uh, in this uh, circuit, say I have uh, direct feedback between here, here. If I have this uh, direct negative feedback, that means output, I connect to negative uh, point. There are two features once we have a negative uh, feedback. Feature one, no current flow to inside of uh, op uh, Back to this uh, diagram. In this uh, diagram I show you, you may have uh, a current here, you may have a current here because you have a certain uh, difference, potential difference, you have a certain uh, input uh, impedance. But in ideal case, because this approach to infinite, and because this input impedance approach to infinite, therefore this current, there wouldn't be current here, here, no current. So that is the first feature, IPIN equals zero, because the input impedance of an ideal op-arm is uh, infinite. A second feature is the potential at two input terminals are same. Right? This is a VP, that is a VI. Once you have negative feedback there, those two potentials same. As a VN would equal VP. Uh, you may ask me why. <laughs> because we have a certain, uh, certain output, say this is uh, how many volt, there are one volt, 10 volt, uh, 15 volt, you have a certain output. Do remember in ideal case, this A is infinite. You have a certain number here, you need to divide this so that you that is your input, right? If this uh, V zero divided by infinite, that must be zero. So this is why this, uh, uh, you divide by infinite actually, it, that is uh, uh, VP minus uh, VI, right? Now that, that is the second uh, feature. The potential at two input terminals are same, a VP equals VN because open loop gain of ideal operational amplifier is infinite. You must remember those two features so that you can analyze ideal operational amplifier circuits. Actually, in uh, most uh, cases, people just uh, deal with the ideal operational amplifier circuit. That means if you can manage those two features, you can analyze almost all operational amplifier circuits. 
uh, a typical OPAM is a mu A741. It's a very common. Mu A stands for micro, uh, micro amplifier. It was designed by Fairchild. Fairchild disappeared. I don't know which company merged this uh, company. Maybe ATI, Texas Instrument. I'm not quite sure. In 1968, more than 50 years ago, Fairchild designed uh, this chip, Mu A742. Up to now, this device, Mu A742, still very popular. Now you can buy like a LM. Yeah, now it's become LM. Uh, if you check uh, check uh, RS or funnel, LM741. LM is a linear semiconductor. LM is a linear semiconductor product. Yeah, so Fairchild uh, was merged by, uh, by National Semiconductor. This uh, design is a best performance to price ratio. I, it, I don't know if you know this. Uh, this. Or oh, best value for money. Best value for money. Uh, it is uh, very cheap uh, for low frequency applications. The perfor performance of this uh, device is uh, very, very good. Uh, if you uh, you uh, will deal with low frequency application, I would recommend you use uh, this device, 741. Uh, you know, uh, to uh, work with uh, operational amplifier uh, amplifiers, you need uh, resistors, capacitors. I remember for circuit analysis, uh, in circuit analysis part, already I give you a, a series of resistors. Here is a summary. Available resistor and capacitor values. The following are common values. For R, I have 1, 1.2, 1.5, 1 so, so many different values. Uh, 10 times n, that means you can have uh, different units, different uh, number of zeros to follow or in front. Uh, um, yeah, you have uh, more values. For capacitor, there is not uh, so many values available. You have 1, 1 1.2, 1.5, 2.2, 3.3, 4.7, 6.8. This is a common value available. So when you design a circuit, you have uh, more resistor values available than capacitor values. Therefore, normally you choose a capacitor first, and then you choose uh, uh, a suitable resistor value because uh, those values less. Uh, you choose uh, capacitor values first, and then you choose a resistor value. And let's uh, stop uh, here. We uh, will continue next time.